Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. I want to apologize for uh, the lack of an update last time. It just kind of was... I've been kind of overwhelmed with uh, just uh, the, the ordinary um, business of life. I've been trying to get my home uh, kind of more organized. Is this glow effect new or is it just something I never noticed before? That's quite cool. That's really cool. So yeah, I I've been neglecting this channel and there's there's a couple of reasons. One is I've kind of been trying to get my ordinary everyday life straightened out and that has been a bit more time consuming than I expected. I'm trying to get my uh social life a little bit more in order and I'm trying to get my home a little bit cleaner. And uh, I'm, I've also been losing a lot of time to uh, Twitch, the live show. I've been uh, really enjoying that, really working hard to make that a bigger deal. And uh, it, that's going incredibly well, but it's, you know, I, I've been letting it take time from this when I really didn't mean to. And uh, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what direction I'm going to take with this channel. I'm still kind of trying to figure out... I actually want to check the overview. What is the spawn rate for the Orb of Nature? It is 3,500. 70% 70, 70 out of 3,500. Uh, Orb of Safety is 700, so that's going to be really common. Flash, 1,500. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of luck. That's 800. Freedom we have not seen. That's 5,000. Okay. It's cool that uh, more and more of the game is getting exposed. It's uh, I, I always like when developers make it a little bit easier to understand the inner workings of a game. So... I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out where do I want to go with this channel. Because right now I'm like... 100% committed to the Hyper Rogue, absolutely loving it still, and uh, not really sure what else to do, because a lot of the games that I've been playing have not been as engaging as I expected them to be. And for one reason or another, I've kind of fallen off of them. I think the Orb of Luck only affects uh, what lands spawn. I'm hoping that we'll see a Dragon Chasms, though I've not been looking too hard for one. So I'm, I'm still really just trying to figure that out. And uh, I have, you know, I have some ideas, but nothing really compelling. You know, I, I have tried to do free game features, uh, that might come back, though that's a lot of work. The uh, Road Not Taken, I'm going to finish that out, but it's an incredibly taxing... Ooh, there's an Orb of Freedom uh, series to do, both uh, because it's um, so, such, uh, such a big series, so uh, requires so much editing, and uh, takes so long to review. And to record, it takes like half an hour to record. And uh, and so you know, it's it's been difficult, and I've kind of I've been doing it less frequently because of that. But absolutely, do want to finish that up. And uh, you know, I I I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. And uh, I'm trying to split my attention between the game and the uh, what what I'm trying to say, and uh, neither one is getting particularly good attention. Now, do we have the uh, the different sufficient different kills for the dragon chasms? I just realized it might not be unlocked, and I don't remember where it is in the list. There we go, it's not unlocked. Uh, we have 17 out of 20 different kills. So, let's see. Do, do we have the uh, the palace kills that we need? I think probably not. 
So that should be, I mean, assuming that there are some uh, guards here, which uh, this seems to be a very poorly guarded wing of the palace. And of course I did that thing where I go, oh yes, I can backtrack very easily. That won't be a problem, and of course now I have been completely unable to backtrack. And I have no idea where I am. So now we're lost in the palace, which is kind of a good thing, because we're just, we're looking for guards. There's an exit. But, uh, of course, if the guards never show up, there's, there's a couple. Alright, how are we going to deal with them? I suppose in the ordinary way. There we go. So, I believe, uh, yes, that's, that's our first two guard kills. So there's something. Uh, what other lands have we not gotten kills in? Uh, I'm almost certain we've gotten a running dog. Uh, I, I think we've gotten 15 of them, yes. Bulls, I'm not sure how to kill bulls. I don't actually know if we can. They're uh, very difficult. I think there's like an orb that lets you kill them. I wonder if Orb of Flash works on them. Oh. That seems not safe. But we can get that. And, uh... Let's see, just figure out how to deal with this uh, metal beast. Get out of its way like that. Have we killed everything in the living cave? I feel like we have not taken this on. I feel like there's more I want to say about the future of the channel, but uh, I, think, I think maybe I have n pretty much said everything. You know, the, the key highlights are you know, I'm completely committed to the Hyper Rogue, and I'm not, and I'm going to finish uh, the Road Not Taken, but it's going to take a while because uh, it's both uh, time-consuming and somewhat emotionally draining. Anyway, we've got the kills that we need from here, so let us carry on. And uh, you know, I'm I'm just. You know, I'm, I'm going to finish those things, and then I don't know what. Uh, now, let's see, we wanted the Orb of Flash to kill either a bull or one of these reptiles. Because the reptiles are very hard to kill. We have an albatross, so I would like to avoid killing that. Oh, this one's about to wake up. There we go, so that actually has gotten us a kill of a mob that uh, it's very rare to kill. So let's take a look at the Dragon Chasms. They are unlocked, and uh, we actually have more kills than we needed. So now let us hunt for them, and there's one right there. We can grab an Orb of Flash to go in here. Uh, it will help us out a little bit. We can maybe get more segments than usual. Because this is the next orb that I would like to unlock. Now let's try and loop around it a little bit. Aha! Okay. Wow, we hit every single segment at once. That's cool. So, uh, getting... Let's see, getting 10 treasures here is not all that difficult. Boy, 53 turns left on that. I think I will pass. Though, I mean, we can keep it on screen while we kind of try and look around, lure another dragon. Because this is another one of the coolest orbs in the game, and so if we can grab a hold of it, that'll be fun. It'll be really fun. 18 turns left on that.
Uh, two more turns. There we go. Got that. Now let's fight this guy. Uh, I don't want to let him pinch me against that wall, because uh, he can fly. And uh, I cannot. Now I'm trying to remember if there's an orb of flight. I don't think there is. Alright, so that's all but two segments, and uh, he really wants us to hit this segment over here, so we'll oblige. And that one, so that was actually really easy. Now we just have to get around to the head, which again, very, very easy. Fighting these dragons is not often that simple. So, how many do we want? Uh, I think... Any bit more than 10 is going to help us out. Let's see, we have 7 so far. And, uh, you know, we'd, we'd like to have it spawning, at least in the crossroads, relatively frequently. But, uh, you know, having, having 25 would be great. I'm not completely confident. You know, this is one of the areas where I do feel like I'm pretty solid. Alright, we're a little bit at risk of getting pinned here. If you hit a segment, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to use this a little bit, uh, if you hit a segment that is about to move, uh, that segment will not be able to hurt you. And uh, sometimes you can push them around, though you need kind of free space to do that. And uh, usually, you know, the head and the tail sometimes you can push around. The other segments, usually you cannot. And uh, I am having a very hard time getting to this last segment. Uh, the dragon is doing a really good job of protecting it. And uh, I didn't even realize there's a couple more segments that we need to hit. So... We're just going to have to kind of keep luring this guy around. Uh, we can't deal with that. So yeah, we can knock the head back and then go up there and hit that. That knocks it away and it can't attack us. So now we just have that one last segment that is uh, proving to be very difficult to reach. We want to, once again, avoid getting pinned, so we're going to lure him out into a more open area. And uh, once we've got this, I think I'm going to wrap the episode up because we have been going for a little while. Uh, that will unlock the orb that we need. And uh, then we will just, we will continue to hunt for uh, the orbs that we want. There we go. So there's that. Oh, we've got a reptile after us. And we're in a little bit of trouble here. So how are we going to get to the other side of this dragon? Because it's kind of, we're getting chased back into the sort of the narrow areas and we can't get around it. So let's try and lure it out here. And uh, there actually is an orb of flash. But uh, here, here it's going to just present its head to us. So that's great. So now we have, let's see, we'll have 11 it looks like. What happens if you knock a reptile? Oh, that's interesting. So they still turn into platforms if you knock them into dragon chasms but they don't quite fit with uh, the the pattern. So yeah, we are... Oh, hey, here's an Orb of Nature. That's cool. So this is what we want. 
So now we leave ivy. And uh, we can actually, uh, we can grow the ivy. Ah, but the, the butterfly will attack it if we do that, and it cannot attack the butterfly. So yeah, I really, I really like the, um, the ivy. It's, I think, one of the coolest orbs in the game. But, uh, there's not really anything around us that we can attack with it. And I think if it goes off screen... Oh, I guess it, it stays there. I don't know if there's like a maximum size. It looks like it has to stay linear. Or at least uh, tree-shaped. Like if we make a loop, it kind of reconfigures it. But uh, as long as it's tree-shaped, you know, we can grow it all over the place. We're running out of time, which is fine. Uh, didn't really get to attack anything. And that butterfly is actually attacking our ivy, and then it it just it collapses once uh, once the time runs out. So that was that was cool. Uh, let's try and find an orb of safety. And uh, you know, I feel I feel like this was a good adventure, and uh, our our adventure is just going to continue. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at. You know, playing around with the Orb of Domination, the Orb of Nature. I would really like to take the Orb of Nature into a clearing and battle Ivy with Ivy. So we will have to see if we can do that. Uh, it might require 25 uh, Amethyst, I think? 25 Treasures from the Mountain, which is a pretty tall ask. Uh, but we can give it a shot. And, uh, you know, the main thing, uh, the main things I want to do, you know, play around with the Orb of Nature, play around with the Orb of Domination, and, uh, battle the giant ivy and see if we can find any foxes. So, all that is coming up in the future. This series, absolutely going to continue for as long as I can manage it. Uh, the other series, you know, Road Not Taken, definitely going to wrap up, though it will take time. Everything else really up in the air, really trying to figure out where to go next with this channel. So thank you for bearing with me, and uh, I hope to continue bringing you content that is entertaining and fun. And until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.